All right, guys, today we're going to be doing a screwdriver review on these Harbor Freight screwdrivers. No, I'm only shitting you. You probably can tell by the title of the video. We're going to be doing a Husqvarna review. And I've been waiting to do this video for exactly two years. Oh, yeah. You guys really want my opinion on these screwdrivers? I think they're a piece of shit. I gave them a two out of five. They strip out really easy. You can't whack them with a hammer. I take that back. I give it a one just because you can't whack it with a hammer. Freaking thing busts open. Harbor Freight. I think these things sell for three bucks. They're practically given to you. My drawer is loaded with them. Disposals is what I call them. But anyway, we're going to be doing a full on review of my Husqvarna lawn tractor. I have had this thing for two years now. Exact. Actually, a little bit longer than two years. Uh, I bought this tractor two years ago. A uh, buddy of mine, he took it on trade for another lawn tractor, and I got this tractor. It originally had a 24 horsepower Briggs & Stratton V twin engine on that needed uh, heads. Uh, it also needed a couple of other things that wasn't worth the money to put into it. Um, so I ended up installing a 26 horsepower Briggs & Stratton V twin extended life series engine. Uh, basically just a plug and play deal, pull off your old engine and drop your new one in. Uh, you just don't use your choke, the original one came with a choke. This one here is a choke up on your throttle instead of pulling a knob. Quick and easy. Uh, I paid I think $700 for this engine, brand new. Every year I put a brand new Everstart battery in it. And I can turn this guys off. It's kind of cool here but I'll eventually kick it on again. Um, very very durable tractor. This is the Husqvarna YTH 2448T and uh, I know it's not a garden tractor guys this is just a regular lawn tractor but I've actually made it into a garden tractor. Uh, the things I like about this thing the most is the transmission. This has the tough torque transmission in it right there. Let's see if we can get a little bit of auto focus on this. This is the transmission that's in it and this is the model of it. All the good stuff there so you guys can get a little bit of info on that. Uh, things I've done to it over the past couple of years is I've thrown a bumper onto it, smashed the front end of it with my truck. I actually used this tractor to push my Ford F-150 in the driveway because the jackass tow truck driver that decided that drop it off in the middle of the street instead of the driveway couldn't wait for mother to pull the explorer out the driveway so I had to push this thing in the driveway and it pushed it in the driveway just fine uh, but anyway so some of the things I've done to it other than dented the hood <laughs> I'll eventually fix that some other day uh, I've put a bumper on it uh, in the winter I plow with this thing I use wheel weights in the rear and I have chains for the rear uh, I've put gator blades on it. Gator blades are a very good investment on a ride-on mower, in my opinion. Let's get these guys over. Boom. Oop. There should be. Gator blade. I have replaced uh, two of these little wheels just because they got loose one time. And I lost one, I think, at a customer's house when I was mowing their yard. And... Uh, yeah, and one of them was just kind of loose and wobbly, so I figured, could, eh, we'll just fix it. Get them both done. Uh, I'm eventually, this fall, going to be putting some new tires on. I'm starting to have a little bit of a tread wear problem. Uh, a few months ago, I had to readjust my front end ball joints. They came a little bit loose, so I had to re-go about tightening them up, and now they're straight as a bird, and I got left with this. So this, uh, this fall, I'm going to be replacing it new set of tires for the front um, spindles bearings all that stuff is still the same I eventually need to get a new pulley for underneath here it's an idler pulley it's extremely loose it's the bearings on the inside are done it's pretty loud and uh, I've actually put bigger tires on in the summer I run 22s I think these are yeah these are 22 by 9 50s 12s NHS not for highway use uh, tires and rims on it. These came off a Scott slash John Deere lawn tractor. I like the bigger look on them. They look a little better. I actually have bigger rims I'm going to put on the front too. Uh, but I do not use those rims in the winter. Uh, just because I use smaller rims in the winter. I have wheel weights for them. 
It makes it quick, simple to use. Uh, I already have the tires and chains made up basically for winter use. So I just slide them off, slide them on. It's just a little pin that holds it in and a uh, unit. That's about it. So I do that. Uh, level the deck every year. Um, right now I'm having a little bit of a deck issue I noticed today. It's basically every time when I go to park this thing, I park it on the side of my garage and it scrapes up against the unit on the garage cement. So it's been scuffing that up. Uh, I think it was last year or two years ago. I built this hitch for it. Wicked cool hitch. I'll get my phone out so you guys can see some light on it. Let's get some light on it. There we go. Oop. There it is. Uh, you know, it's pretty thick steel. Angle iron piece, grade 8 bolts, holding they're all in with the ball hitch, 2 inch ball. And I used it uh, basically to tow my old snowmobile trailer around. I have a two place and slow snowmobile trailer. I towed it around the yard from time to time. And that's the reason why I built this. And now I've been actually using it to use on my other trailer at the moment, my landscape trailer. And it does a job just great. Sorry about that guys, I ran out of memory on my memory card, still have videos from about two weeks ago on this thing. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, I use it now these days, basically tow my landscape trail around. Uh, from in and out of the driveway, it just makes life easier. And um, the one big thing I love about this tractor is the transmission. This is like the best transmission I've ever had. I'm usually a big, big fan of the six speeds for towing, but due to the fact that this is a well-known brand, uh, hydrostatic drive, I like it. Uh, I change the belts on it every every year basically. Uh, mower deck belt, I think it's still the original belt. I've never changed it. I've changed the drive belt twice on now, just you know, better traction. I've upgraded the seat. Uh, the seat came off of the newest style Husqvarna. Uh, this was at a dealership I did some business with, and they had to take it off of a brand new tractor because it had a little bit of a rip in it, and they can't sell it. So I got it. I still have the original seat for it up in the loft, but I mean this thing here is the basically the same thing. What do you want for five dollars? Uh-huh. Upgrade the steering wheel with the leather wrap one. Uh, it comes with a plastic cheapy steering wheel. I had a Husqvarna tractor that came in on the same year as this one. So I just pulled that steering wheel off, swapped it out with a little bit nicer leather wrap one. Uh, believe it or not, I don't know what the deal is with this hour meter. A few of you guys think it's something with a spark, I, I don't know, uh, but I find it kind of hard to believe that this tractor has 524 hours on it in 6 minutes. I find it kind of hard to believe, but then again, eh, I might have done it, <laughs> you know. I thought maybe one time I left the key on and it just kept on going away, but a few of you guys say that's not how it works, it's all done by the spark off the engine so I don't know I really don't know I know when I bought the thing it only had like four something 400 or two something hundred hours on it not quite sure I'll have to go back on that video which I'll post in the link below to the first day we got this thing um, you know and then there's a little attachment you can hook on 48 inch snow plow dozer blade mulch plow air filter spark plugs all that good stuff Nothing too high tech on it, you know, I, I This engine here is still under warranty. I have yet to do a thing to it. I Got the extended warranty on it Cast iron front axle You know overall a really beefy tractor. This is the last year I do believe that they made of the thin of the thick bodies uh, if you go to like a Husqvarna these days now if you knock on the hood Here mine mine's pretty thick if you go to a dealership now, they're pretty pissed thin. I ain't gonna lie. The quality of Husqvarna has kind of went downhill these past couple of years. Now that they've been putting that horrible made in China Cola Courage engine in. They don't last any more than two years. Warranty on those things is two years. After two years and two months, guess what? Your tractor is done. If you get past that with a Cola Courage engine, I'm amazed. But if it's got a Briggs & Stratton engine in it, you're just fine um, but yeah overall monster tractor 48 inch deck on it never had any problems with it never had any even breakdowns with it never even snapped a spindle you know 
Got a couple of lights on or LED lights just for funsies in the winter with the plow on it. You know, I stick a 42 inch craftsman plow on it. Plows five, six inches of snow, no problem at all. Pretty damn good tractor. Headlights, I ended up blacking these out. The, uh, what do you want to call it? The paint that they use on the inside, the chrome paint. It started flaking away and looked horrible, so I just blacked out the inside with a little bit of paint. Same deal with the grill here. I blacked it out. Blacked out the side. It was gray. Changed it to black. I think it looks a little bit meaner. I um, eventually might uh, use some of that newer stuff these days. It's called uh, plaster dip. Plastic dip, whatever it is. And I might actually do the whole grill. This piece here. This piece here. Not sure about these guys yet and uh, do the all four rims and tires and I think it would look really beefy that way but that's my opinion and I'm still thinking about it I don't know I'll have to wait and see depends if I have time like I said just an all around beefy tractor last year I think of the thin bodies of this thing so overall a great tractor never had any problems with it on a scale of five out of five I give it a five. Uh, the only reason why the engine went on the last one is because the previous owner of this tractor didn't do any maintenance to it at all. Uh, when I even got the engine, there was like little or no oil in it. So, yeah. I think I paid for this tractor, I think I paid like 400 bucks for it back in the day. And then I stuck a $700 engine in it. So, overall, durable tractor and if you throw some air horns in it I don't know if you guys can see that or not up oh, air horns it's pretty damn loud Harbor Freight air horns gotta love them anyway that's my tour slash two year update of my Husqvarna YTH Peppercat Key Special Lawn Tractor thanks for watching guys